Hello, and thanks for joining the Frosty Sith channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Z-Pax Arc Hall Zip for 2020. And in particular, the belt pockets. Stay tuned. Okay. So you guys watched the unpacking video uh, a month or so ago of this new Z-Pax uh, Arc Hall Zip, uh, which is the bag that I'm going to be taking to the Wind River this year, uh, along with all my normal backpacking gear and camera equipment and gear, etc. And I got the pack because I really wanted uh, a pack with some kind of a frame. Uh, to it and uh, this pack does have a frame to transfer weight uh, down to the hip belt. I've been wearing this pack uh, loaded up with some weight, not maybe not full weight that I'll carry on the trail with all the camera gear, uh, but I have been carrying it and it's something that you should do too anytime you get new gear before you get into the back country because um, there are some adjustments that need to be made and you need to become familiar with how to adjust uh, the suspension system, for example, and maybe other features of your pack. This particular pack, uh, I selected a lot of options, uh, which Z-Packs installed for me before shipping it to me, and so I didn't have to install the pockets or the um, trekking pole loops that are on here so you can fold up your trekking poles and hook them to the pack uh, if you're not wanting to carry them. Um, the bear canister, Y strap, uh, and some other features. I think I also got this other pocket. And so they installed these. When I ordered the pack, I used the sizing guidelines um, on the site to um, order the hip belt and this hip belt works fine carries weight great uh, i could have probably got the large size uh, instead of the medium which the medium should work for me uh, and for other people that may borrow the pack that would be smaller than me and uh, even people that are somewhat larger than i am in the waist uh, because of the particular strap system that they have there's there's quite a few inches of adjustment that you can do and still have the pack ride comfortably. But in this case, because of the padded portion of the hip belt length, um, these pockets are situated in such a way that uh, my arms, so if I'm not carrying trekking poles, my arms uh, rub on these. So one of the things that I wanted to do today uh, was just to try and adjust these, literally move them forward uh, onto um, the webbing strap portion, um, at least several inches forward, to try and get them so that when the pack is on me um, and belted up, that instead of having the pockets literally right on my sides, to move them forward so that they're more in front of the carry on the belt versus, you know, exactly on my sides. That way rubbing on things uh, will be less likely. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's try and adjust these. Okay, so this is the hip belt pocket that was installed by Z-Packs at the factory before they shipped it to me. And we're gonna take a look at how it's connected, uh, which you would think is the intended way because they did it. Uh, and so there's a loop here that is sewed on both sides to secure it. And you can imagine that that's proper because the pocket may need to hold weight. Um, there's a flexible uh, piece of stretch uh, webbing right here in the center to keep it on the belt. And then there is another 
sewn loop here that uh, is connecting the bag loop to the loop on the belt. So I think though, because there are some additional loops sewn onto the belt that I'll be able to move that. So let's give this a try and just see what happens. Okay, we're gonna start by pulling the toggle out, pulling the loop loose, pull the toggle through the loop, Then we're gonna go ahead and move it to this first slot forward. Open the loop, put the toggle back in there, pull it tight and cinch down the toggle. Okay, so what I ended up doing on both sides was the same as what I did on this right side of the hip belt when I'm wearing it, is I moved the back side of the pocket tie down to the second loop on the belt. And the front side I have now moved from the webbing connector where it's inside the sewn loop actually to the bottom of this buckle, which isn't used by the webbing. The webbing goes through this outer loop and this second loop that you would normally use if you were using two pieces of webbing to tighten this particular buckle, um, I've got it connected directly to that. And I've done that on both sides of the belt. So see there, and it's connected directly to the buckle. Uh, and it's not going to be pulling or wearing on the threading uh, here on this fabric loop. And then this one is also connected to the second loop on the left side of the belt. And what that does is now without creating any interference with the tightening of the belt, it pulls both the pockets forward right around to the front. And uh, I've worn the pack and it's really gonna, gonna be better for me to have everything front and center and to be able to work the zippers easily without having to reach around to my side or to my back to try and work the zippers. So that's great. And overall, I love the, the pack. Okay, so the adjustment is made. Everything works great. I can still adjust each of the top and the bottom, you know, as I need to make adjustments on the trail, and yet the pockets are, you know, right up front and accessible, easy to zip, easy access to get to my stuff, because now it's up front and not back here where it was rubbing my arms, and clearly, you know, my arms don't even touch it right now. So, um, just another thing that you have to do when you're backpacking and you're getting ready to be in the backcountry. And certainly this particular adjustment you could make in the backcountry uh, because of the way Z-Pax has designed the connectors. It doesn't require any sewing or tools at all. Uh, it was real easy to do, and if I need to move them again, I'll be able to uh, in the field. But it's always better to test out your equipment, you know, plan ahead, be prepared, and uh, make the adjustments before you start the trip. So that's today's video. I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, that does help with the YouTube algorithm. And remember, get up, get out, live a little. See ya.